so surface landmarks on the thoracic wall these include uh, the jugular notch jugular notch is a slight depression or a fossa located just above the uh, upper border of the <clears throat> manubrium which is the upper part of the sternum that is the anterior bone in the midline of thoracic skeleton further down to it we have the sternal notch uh, sternal angle sorry sternal angle is also called manubrial sternal joint and it is also called angle of lui it is formed between the manubrium sternae above and body of sternum below this joint on the surface is palpable as a bulge in the midline and once you palpate this bulge the clinical significance of this angle is that at the level of manubrial sternal joint or the sternal angle lies the second costal cartilage and this landmark can help you in your medical rotations when you will be commanded to measure the or to count the ribs of the patient so since second costal cartilage lies at the level of the sternal angle this landmark is going to help you counting the in counting the uh, ribs of the patient another important surface landmark of the thoracic wall is the costal margin and subsequently the subcostal angle costal margin is formed by the union of the costal cartilages from 7th to 10th ribs so these costal cartilages from 7th to 10th ribs on either side of the midline right and left form costal margin uh between these two costal margin below the sternum forms an angle which is called subcostal angle or infrasternal angle sometimes this angle increases in pregnant females in order to accommodate the developing fetus now uh, on the surface of the thorax we have certain imaginary lines that are required for descriptive purposes one of them in the midline anteriorly is the mid sternal line that passes in the midline vertically through the central part of the sternum running parallel to it at some distance passing through the middle point of the clavicle is the mid clavicular line it also is an imaginary vertical line passing through the middle of the clavicle and running downwards further lateral and running parallel to mid clavicular line is an another imaginary line passing vertically down through the anterior axillary fold which is called the anterior axillary line two more lines are associated with the region of axilla the one passing through the center of the axilla is called mid axillary line and the one that passes through the posterior axillary fold vertically down is called the posterior axillary line 